Hey guys, Patrick here. It's Friday, yes, it's another live handover with Sigma Homes. When you turn a three bedroom semi D into a 2,000 square foot luxury home, it makes sense. But when that home is one minute's walk from the heart of Douglas, now that's what dreams are made of. This home is really unrecognizable and the new sense of space you see throughout is fabulous. Now we really get to see what this home and this kitchen is all about. But you know what I love? These sleek modern island chairs, they're so slimline looking, but once I remove them back, and it's hard to believe, we've got lots of storage and storage is so important. So from here, we really get to see the flow of this gorgeous kitchen. With storage to the side of the fridge, with storage overhead, with our fridge, we've got our freezer, but I really like this. An under counter microwave. When you're prepping food, do you know what? It really does make sense. We've got this beautiful big island. I really love the shape and finish of this tap. But everything about this kitchen it really feels like good quality or quartz, so practical for everyday use. What about if you're baking and cooking at the same time? Let's take a look in here. Now that's what you call a utility slash pantry. Behind us, we've got our own back door and I love the clear glazing. It allows all that natural light come spilling in. Behind these big doors, now this becomes our plant room but most importantly, deep storage for brushes, mops, everything you need for cleaning your home. What have we got here? Door one, two, three, and four. Behind this is a chimney. So we had two decisions to make. Do we plaster it and keep it as a wall, or do we design it very cleverly that we can have all that space for all your spices when cooking? This storage works out really, really well. And behind that chimney breast and to the side, again, lots of deep storage. We've got our washing machine, drying machine, overhead storage. I love this guy. Once we pull this out, again, everything you need. We've got our sink here. You're washing muddy potatoes, maybe washing muddy boots. You're keeping that pressure off the kitchen. That works really, really well. I really love how this floor flows so well in this new home. So we've got our kitchen, we've got our pantry slash utility room. What about our dining? Here, we've got a really clever window seat. And this works so well for those snug, cozy chats. And underneath, because remember storage is so important, here we've designed it with lots of storage. Our next room may be one of my favorite. We all love open plan, but what about when you're watching the movie and maybe you like a bit of privacy, but also still feel connected. This room does exactly that. In here, we've totally changed the mood. We've changed the paint color, and it really gives it that sense of being in a different space, but while also still being connected to your kitchen and your dining. For me, this room is a 10 out of 10. So what about you want to watch, let's say your favorite episode of Love Island. You don't want noise and you don't want distractions. This is what this room is all about. So before I take you upstairs, what about the downstairs bathroom? Behind this door, that's exactly what we've got. We've got some gorgeous tiles. I think you're gonna really like our finish here. This staircase has been made up of two materials. We've got that big solid handrail, and that's lovely feeling of security when you're coming down that stairs, but glass. It's super modern, 
and it really maximizes all your light. Behind us, where we built our new extension, this is where we've created a master bedroom. Right here in the center of the room is where we're gonna have our bed. You've lots of space. This leads us straight into the master bedroom ensuite. Check out these tiles. Look at all the different grains. They're absolutely gorgeous. And I love how all the shower materials blend perfectly in. This bathroom is definitely another level. We have a double-ended bath here. This really is a sense of luxury. This unit here fits in perfectly. But you know, I love the detail in the shape of this sink. Really gives it that sharp line. At the other side of this wall, we've got our walk-in wardrobe. Lots of storage space. And we've got this bonus window. This allows all that natural light. And when you want to close this wardrobe up, we've got a pocket door kit here. And that closes it off from your bedroom. In this bedroom, we've got a lot going on. To start with, we've got our own walk-in wardrobe. And in here, we've got a lot of high storage, medium storage, low storage, but we've also got that natural light coming in. And that leads us straight into the ensuite. In this bathroom, we've got a really nice size shower. Once you open the door, this leads you straight in. And I really, really love the colors of these tiles. And particularly in this pocket, how it's picked up to match the wall. It's this unit I really, really like. I love its shape, but its color. This works perfectly in with the floor tile. With one simple turn, this door now can become the ensuite for your guest bedroom. If you'd like them to have the luxury of having their own bathroom, one click, and that's exactly what they can have. And this door leads us straight back into the hallway. So you know that box bedroom in your three bedroom semi? Well, we've converted this room into two things. One, we've used it for a home study, and this is quite intimate. But the big exciting thing is we've introduced a new staircase leading right up to the attic. And I think it's fair to say, this is what we call a man cave. Can you imagine we're in the attic of the house? We've got all this extra bonus space. Behind us here, we've got a movie room. That's what you call comfort. So really, the big question you've got to ask yourself here, would you trade somewhere for your Christmas tree to live for a movie room and a home office? I know the decision I'd make. The key part of this design was tying in the existing floor level to a higher level back garden. And we've done this by using retaining walls and glass screens. A few simple steps, and that leads us up into this beautiful courtyard. And this really gives you that proper connection. The boundary walls, we've cleverly used a cedar cladding and acrylic to give it that wow factor. But let's take a trip down memory lane. Can you remember the day I walked out the back of this? We were probably only on site a few weeks. Let's take a look. Once you come outside, you really get to see what all this design work has been all about. We're gonna be building that big, large two-story extension, and this is what our 3D modeling is all about. This is where you get to see Sigma Homes work. The proof is in the pudding, but that's not without a lot of hard work. And I wanna say a big special thanks to our homeowners for making all those decisions and choosing all those materials with the Sigma Homes team. To all the guys that worked on site, there was easily over a hundred different individuals have worked on this project. And I wanna say a big special thank you to every single one of you.